Welcome to Spaces Organized and Styled, the podcast. My name is Caitlin Atkins, and I am an organization expert and life coach. I am the professional organizer to help you get those goals achieved and work through any life challenges that come up along the way. If you're wanting to declutter your home, your office, your schedule, or your life, then you have found the right place for you. In this podcast, I will share with you the tips, the tricks, and the processes to help you get organized, stay organized, and share some life wisdom along the way. Now let's get started. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Spaces Organized and Styled, the podcast. I am discussing with you today um, a question that I see on social media as well as um, on Google. Is a professional organizer worth it? And what do I mean? Is a professional organizer worth it? I did another episode on how much a professional organizer charges, and there's a lot of different varying um, criteria that go into that. What I wanted to talk today is once you've found the price point that you are comfortable with for a professional organizer, you really want to know, is this worth it? Is it actually going to be worth my time to hire a professional organizer and my money? So what I've done is I have a list of questions that if you find yourself asking these questions or you answer them, um, that's really how you determine if a professional organizer is worth it. Do you find yourself with limited amount of time? Do you find yourself with limited mobility? Do you find yourself with limited connections? These are going to be other connections for your home or your business. And that, what I mean by that is, um, do you have a painter? Do you have a plumber? Do you have an electrician? Do you have a real estate agent? Do you have um, a handyman service? Do you have a flooring company? Do you have an auctioneer? Do you have a landscaping company? Do you have a cleaning company? Do you have, um, oh my gosh, there's so much, I'm tr- uh, a home inspector. Do you have uh, all of these things that you, you need and that you need connections for? Do you have those people? Do you know who you would call in the middle of the night if your AC went out or your heat went out? Do you have somebody, um, a good home insurance um, company that you work with? All of those things. Do you have those good connections lined up? Are you happy with all of them? Are you willing to maybe see what else is out there? Do you have limited mo- motivation or endurance? Um, and what I mean is limited motivation. Do you know that you need to get organized, but you're just not motivated enough to do it? Do you have uncertainty around organizing and decluttering and how your home or business should be? Do you have confusion around this? So the uncertainty is, yeah, I know that I probably need to do it. The um, confusion is, I just don't know where to begin. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to do it. I don't know what it should look like. I've tried, I've failed, it didn't work. I tried this method, I read this book. None of those things worked for me. That's gonna be the confusion aspect that a professional organizer can really come in and make clear. Are you starting a new phase in life? Life transitions happen all the time, every day. We are always in a life um, transition. We're always phasing to different areas. So in a life transitions, um, some examples could be a new baby. It could be a marriage, a divorce. It could be a move. It could be a new career. It could be... Um, It could be recently becoming widowed, so somebody has um, passed. It could be empty nest, all the kids have left. Um, Do you have any of those things that are happening that you maybe need to shift some things in your life now to accommodate whatever the life transition is? Do you have a brain-based condition, ADHD, ADD, OCD? all of those things. If you have any of those that apply to you and that you are finding or experiencing in your life, or you know somebody who's experiencing in their life, then a professional organizer is definitely going to be worth it. Even if it's just for a little bit of time, a consultation, an hour um, or so, a couple times a week, or maybe um, a couple times a month, a professional organizer is really going to help you get organized in the areas that you actually need. And what a professional organizer is going to do is they're going to bring in a fresh set of eyes and to see a situation differently than you are constantly living in it. And so for that, that alone is is massive and, and absolutely worth the, the cost of a professional organizer to come in 
and to be able to see your space in a different way that you weren't actually able to see it before. They're also going to be able to see how you're not maximizing your space, how you're not maximizing your time and your energy and your resources, and they're going to be able to help you shift some things, and it could be very small, minor things, that is going to completely change the way that you go about your day. That is huge. So um, no matter what they, they're costing, they're charging for their hourly rate, that in and of itself is completely worth it to have somebody come in and tell you just these few little things. If you tweak them, completely going to change. That alone is is just massive. So is a professional organizer worth it? Um, if you have any of those things that you know I listed that apply to you, then absolutely a professional organizer is going to be worth it for you. Check them out. Um, just try it a couple times. Also keep in mind that not everybody, um, all the professional organizers, they obviously don't organize in the exact same way. So if you have a professional organizer, if you have an experience with somebody that it didn't go well, um, they maybe didn't listen to your needs, they didn't um, take into account your um, limitations or disabilities, or they didn't think about the way that your family acts actually functions, try it again. See about getting another professional organizer in there again. Don't write off the whole industry. Um, A lot of people practice their business in different ways. So take another stab at it. See how it goes. You can never go wrong with um, getting another pair of fresh eyes into your space. So I hope that helps answer your questions. Is a professional organizer worth it? Hey, did you love that episode?